So we have a clean install of Windows Server 2016 it's called Server 1, and then a workstation for Windows 10. We're going to get started on the server, install Active Directory with Active Directory DNS, and also the DHCP services. Here we go. By default, the server manager probably pops up like this. And what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is set all of the local server properties. First thing is computer name. Automatically gets generates during the installation. So we're going to change that. Up here at the top, we're going to call this server1. Hit OK. And I'll say it wants to reboot. But I'm not going to reboot quite yet. So we'll hold tight on that one until I get a couple other things set. Next thing I want to set is time zone. Change the time zone, we're in central. And updates, I want to Where is my settings? I think, you know what? Download updates only. It's not gonna be able to download because we're not connected to the internet. So I think it should be okay here. Uh, next thing I want to do is IP address. So IP address is set here on the network adapter. I'm gonna change that by setting the IP version four properties. To a static IP, 172.16.0.10. The 16-bit mask, gateway, 172.16.0.1. And DNS, this is kind of odd, but I'm going to use myself, 172.16.0.10, because I'm going to be installing a DNS server. Close that. So now that I think we have everything set, hit refresh here. And this should reflect my changes. I'm going to close this out and restart. Log back in. Okay, now we're going to add our features that we need to add. So we're going to go underneath Manage, Add Roles and Features. Hit Next. Next. And it says, which server do you want to work on? The server that I only have is Server 1. So that's already highlighted. I'm going to install Active Directory Domain Services. When you select that option, Add Roles and Features says, hey, you want to install all of these additional tools and features in order to manage Active Directory. I sure do. Go ahead and add those. We don't want to add any other of these options because we're not doing any of these Active Directory features as far as federation, lightweight, and rights, management, certificate services. We'll deal with that later. And I'm going to do just Active Directory for now. So I'm going to hit next and next to the features and next to Active Directory domain services. And it asks if I need to reboot. I can just restart it after it gets installing. But I know from experience it doesn't need to reboot, so I don't need to check that install and it should now be installing the files and programs that I need in order for Active Directory to work on this server. I'm not actually installing Active Directory, I'm just installing the, the applications and programs that are required in order for this to work. So once it's done installing on the left hand side over here I'll see Active Directory Domain Services it should show up. So I can do one or two things. I can hit close and click on Active Directory Domain Services on the left, or and then it will prompt me to further promote this server to a domain controller, or I can choose this option right here where it says promote the server to domain controller. So I'm going to choose this one. Here it is. It takes me to a nice little wizard, and we do not have an existing forest or an existing domain. So we're going to be creating a brand new forest, and you cannot have a forest without a domain. So the root domain that we're going to be creating 
my domain dot prv. Let's do that one. So my domain dot prv. We definitely will not collide with anything on the public internet if this were to be connected to it, because that is a private domain name. It does not exist on the internet. All right, so the forest function level, domain function level, this is um, ensuring that backwards compatibility. If we were to have any older versions of Windows, we would want to make sure that we support a forest function level for those older servers. So I'm going to choose that for the forest and for the domain 2012, just in case we have older 2012 servers. Now, in order for Active Directory Forest to exist and a domain, we need to have a global catalog server and a DNS server. So that's what these, this physical server will have, both of those features. If I need to do any kind of recovery of the directory services, I need a password. So I'm going to set that. And it's saying because it cannot find the authoritative DNS server for mydomain.prv, because it doesn't exist, it's suggesting that it will create its own DNS service. So in other words, I don't need to create a DNS delegation, contact my DNS provider, and so forth, because it will just create its own DNS zone for mydomain.prv. So in other words, if we click show more, it says, otherwise no action is required. And I'm gonna do the no action is required because it'll just do it automatically for me. DNS will take care of itself for my own private zone. All right, verify the NetBIOS name. NetBIOS is an old version of Windows naming service before DNS was popular. So if I have any old Windows machines, Active Directory wants to be able to be accessible to these old Windows clients. So NetBIOS stands for Network Basic Input Output System, uses broadcast technology or broadcast the domain name. So the domain name, if you see here, is missing the .prv. This domain name is what's gonna be broadcasted. So it just tries to abbreviate and shorten up my domain name to something that is NetBIOS compatible. So I'm gonna leave that default. That looks good to me, makes sense. There's a location of where Active Directory, the actual physical database, log files, and the Active Directory shared folder are going to exist, all on the C drive underneath Windows in the default designated folders. I'm gonna leave that there for now. I can always change that. Um, if I have a future install or something else I want to do for additional security, but for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it all defaults. Here it gives me a little summary. This is what we're going to do. And hit next. And now it's checking to make sure that I have all the prerequisites before it installs and creates this as a domain controller. And it's going to complain that um, older 2016 servers that are older than 2012 have a problem with weaker cryptographic algorithms so it's just a security setting they're recommending you should use 2016 instead of the 2012 uh, domain and forest level because I chose 2012. Here's the same uh, error that we had regarding mydomain.prv doesn't exist they can't find the parent zone so they're saying, well, we're going to be installing DNS on this server so we can create this zone because DNS is important for Active Directory. So it'll take care of DNS for us. Otherwise, all the other prerequisites have been checked and we're ready to install. And it's going through the starting process, waiting for DNS installation. So now it's installing DNS. We'll probably see it pop up over here on the left. DNS server service is getting installed. Mm. 
Yeah, we're about to be signed out because the computer has to restart. Yep, there we see right before the reboot, all of those additional services installed. And this first reboot takes a while for the additional services and stuff to be finished, the installation process. While that's working, I'm going to go over to my workstation and give it a name other than the automatically generated one. So I'm going to do that. The easiest way is open up File Manager, right click on this PC, and you go to Properties to change the name. See, it's just called Desktop and then some random generated characters. I'm going to change this to Win 10 underscore one, so first Windows 10 computer. Right now I'm gonna leave it default in the work group, so I'm not quite ready as far as my network goes. Yeah. Probably should go back and change that. It doesn't like that character. It doesn't like the underscore. And it'll want to restart. thing I did forget on my Windows 10 is to set the right time zone. I don't have problems turning this to the domain if it's in the wrong time zone. Central time. The rest of this looks okay. Except it is way off. Not one PM. Eleven AM. All right. Hopefully, my server is ready to be logged into here any minute. 